So I wanted to show you today how to waterfall braid short hair. You should air dry your hair or put a little beach spray, something to texturize the hair, texture balm, something to give you a little grip. So we did that. Now I'm just gonna brush it out so it's less tangled. Waterfall braid is a great style. It's just a French braid where you drop a section out and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Just deciding in our case if I wanna leave the bangs out, I think I'm going to. So I'm just gonna pin them up and over to the other side, get them out of your way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start my French braid up at the top. When you're doing this, especially if you don't have bangs, you wanna consider as you get toward the side of the head when you wanna start dropping your pieces out. Some people like to drop them right away. I don't like to do that if you are a little sparser throughout your hairline because I don't ever wanna see too much skin pulling through. So generally, I French braid for about three sections and then I'll start dropping them out. And as we're French braiding, we're gonna pull from the top, almost from this top point. So all of our sections will come from the top so we get a nice smooth section. We're not trying to create too aggressive of a braid. And then all of our spots on the bottom are gonna come from right below our braid. So we will be leaving all of this hair out. So starting a little lower on the head, you wanna take a section. You wanna separate it into three sections. And I'm gonna braid a couple before I start incorporating. So now I've done like two sections, so I'm gonna go ahead and start incorporating hair from the top. Just wanna pull a section into the top, cross it over the center. And then now, remember I said to be careful around this area, so you have to decide, do you wanna leave a space out? Do you wanna incorporate some in? I'm gonna incorporate some in, so I'm gonna drop my first section. So what was the lowest part of my three strands, I'm gonna leave out, and I'm just gonna grab a little bit of hair from right underneath our braid, and that'll become our new section. Right, some into this top section, keeping it tight. Cross it over the center. Now I have this piece again, I'm just gonna drop it out. I'm gonna pick up a piece right underneath it and cross that over my center, incorporating it in. Remember, you can always loosen it up afterwards. I'll show you how. Incorporate a little hair in this top section here. Cross it over the top. Now I'm at the bottom, so remember I'm gonna leave that section down and I'm actually gonna grab a section from right underneath it and incorporate it in. And you're just gonna continue like this as far as you want to. I'm just gonna do it kind of middle of the back of the head and then stop. So it'll just be a half style. I'll stop there. So I'm just going to continue braiding a regular braid. And then I'll just take a rubber band. You could use a clear rubber band the tinier, the better. This one matches our hair, so we're gonna use it. And just close up that end. And then I always like to kind of pull all the hair away from that section, and then we're gonna bobby pin it in place. And I just slid the bobby pin going the opposite direction in with our rubber band here. And then I'm gonna take this hair from the top section and cover my section. Now I'm gonna just loosen everything up. So I'm just gonna take the edges of my waterfall braid and just section them a little fuller. This is a great style for short hair. Just adds a little extra interest to your normal hairstyle. Then remember, if you ever need any more stability anywhere else, you can always bobby pin it in place. Her hair actually feels good. Now I'm just gonna drop the bangs and swoop them over to the side. And that's how you do a waterfall braid on short hair.